You can, you can of course also do a bit more pen work if you need to, but you have to wait for this to dry. That's very important because those, these types of pens don't like wet paper. I won't do any more. So I've stuck drawing colour shadow. Sometimes I do drawing colour, colour shadow, but that's about as much as I do on the skin. And that's the same technique I've used in my sketchbook as well. Just as a, I've shown this to a couple of people, just a slight chain shows what you can do with, with pen and wash. That is what's called sepia tint. And what I've done there is I've tinted the paper with burnt umber, let it dry, gone in with a brown pen, brown paint with a bit of ultramarine added to it to darken it in places, and then gone in with some white gouache or Chinese white or white ink just to bring out some of the lighter areas and then the only problem with the opaque paint, the white gouache, is it can cover your pen marks up so let it dry, if you've lost any of your pen marks put them back in again and this is a really good way of doing pen and wash and you can actually change colour, you don't have to do it brown, you can do it grey you can do the whole thing as a black and white okay. So the burnt umber you put onto that first of all, is yes, that just flat a, wash. a flat wash, a bit, a bit flat? Yeah. Which is a exercise in his own mind, yes. flat washes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've got to mix plenty of paint and don't squash your brush down. Yeah. When you do a flat wash, I still do it with this, or like the biggest version, size 14, is you mix up probably twice as much paint as you, you actually need. So every time, every time you do a line of paint, you go one, two, load the brush up again, one, two, load the brush to keep this tilted. So you go one, two, load the brush up, one, two. So each brush mark is wet. If you keep going until your brush <coughs> dries out, load up again, you've got a wet brush going into a dry brush mark, and that's where you get your cauliflowers. And you hold the brush like this, so the brush handles point towards you, and you use the top third of the brush. Don't squash your brush down. If you squash your brush down, you get a dry mark. Okay. And practice, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, folks, whilst we're finishing off, can I just um, thank on behalf of the words uh, Jonathan for coming? Uh, I think that was very instructive. I think uh, I've certainly learned quite a lot about uh, uh, work and so forth. I've done it before, but it's um, fascinating to see the professional with it. So thank you very much, Jonathan, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.